Sean Mullen, President of BI2 Technologies in Plymouth, Massachusetts. We're the uh, national leader in developing IRIS biometric technologies for state and local government law enforcement, specifically in tracking uh, convicted sex offenders and inmates in facilities across the nation, as well as providing community service programs for helping to find missing children and seniors that may be suffering from Alzheimer's. The uh, device is called Morris. It's targeted initially for the offender population in law enforcement. The device comes on a handheld, very similar to what most people will see, an iPhone or a smartphone. Very simply used, it's all touch screen. You simply touch the screen and interactively it walks you through how to use the device. It requires minimal training and an individual can probably learn in about five minutes how to use the device. It enables law enforcement in the community, wherever there's cellular phone connection available, to simply take a quick digital snapshot of an individual's eyes that they have probable cause to believe may be involved in crime. And within a matter of seconds, if that individual is involved and enrolled in the system, be they a convicted sex offender or someone with an outstanding warrant, this little handheld device will return their identity as well as their criminal background information. I'm going to click on Mars. You have the username and their password, so it would be particular to them. I'm going to search for Iris. I'm going to put the phone up to Sean's eye. I'm going to capture the Iris. See, I've captured his Iris. I'm going to search the national database. And his information comes up just that fast. We're very pleased with the uh, patent pending designation we received. Uh, it is the first device of its kind in the world uh, developed right here in Plymouth. And we think there's broad applications for it well beyond the uh, implications for law enforcement. The healthcare industry, for example, tourism industries, travel industries, anywhere there's a need to positively identify the individual, whether they're receiving a benefit, whether they're receiving some sort of access to a location. This device and our technology has broad implications for all of them.